Yeah, I think probably the biggest thing for us is just that uh, the way that those guys have competed in, uh, in, their, in their rehab to get to the level where they are. Both of them have hit some personal best fitness markers, which is you know, sometimes not easy when you're in a different environment, you're not training with the main team. And, um, and then to have them back in training for the last two weeks has been pretty special. And, um, you know, we're working hard to try to create an environment where guys are just working hard to compete every day with each other and you know, get better themselves, but also get better with the, the people around them. So um, I think Adam and, and Reese deserve their selection for, for having done that. A real credit to Hodgie again, you know, he came back and, and ran a, a really world-class uh, Bronco, uh, having done that off, off, coming off a broken leg, you know, is a fair, is a fair effort. And I think also uh, I've had some really healthy conversations with Hodgie because I think he, you know, he's a, he's a hell of an ambitious guy. And I think at times he realizes that there's certain things that he's done that maybe haven't, uh, that he hasn't done at the level that he's, he, he knows he needs to, to, to be really world class. And um, he's changing those things, you know. And he's, uh, he's, he's the type of guy who's always last in the gym, he's always last to leave the training field, you know. He, he has success because he earns success, you know. And again, um, we're pleased to have him back in the group because his energy is, is good for everybody. I think one of the things is that the Wallabies have, have made it quite clear to us that in the World Cup his role will be a, a, um, to be versatile. So he covers a number of different positions. So I think it's fair that we give him that exposure. To be honest, when you know Reese as a person, that doesn't really bother him. You know, like he, he quite enjoys that. I think the challenge of starting in different positions and things like that. But primarily, we'd see him as a centre. So uh, if uh, if all us as well and and um, you know injury wise and things were able to accommodate that, first of all, first and foremost, we'd be seeing Hodgie as a centre. Ireland is obviously a well coached team. You know, um, I think what I admire about them is they always uh, they, they create you some challenges by doing some really simple things. You know, it's a late movement of a of a blind winger in structured attack or a, you know, late entry to a line out or some blocking lines that they run in multi-phase or things like that that, aren't, uh, that, you, that you don't easily see but are obviously very well coached and um, you have to be aware of them and I think this game more than any other we really need to sort of back our own principles because you, you don't really know what they're going to throw at you but if you understand your principles you can cope with whatever comes.